I beseech thee, O my God, by thy mighty sign, and by the revelation of thy grace amongst men, to cast me not away from the gate of the city of thy presence, and to disappoint not the hopes I have set on the manifestations of thy grace amidst thy creatures. Thou seest me, O my God, holding to thy name, the most holy, the most luminous, the most mighty, the most great, the most exalted, the most glorious, and clinging to the hem of the robe to which have clung all in this world and in the world to come. I beseech thee, O my God, by thy most sweet voice and by thy most exalted word, to draw me ever nearer to the threshold of thy door and to suffer me not to be far removed from the shadow of thy mercy and the canopy of thy bounty. Thou seest me, O my God, holding to thy name, the most holy, the most luminous, the most mighty, the most great, the most exalted, the most glorious, and clinging to the hem of the robe to which have clung all in this world and in the world to come. I beseech thee, O my God, by the splendor of thy luminous brow and the brightness of the light of thy countenance, which shineth from the all-highest horizon, to attract me by the fragrance of thy raiment, and make me drink of the choice wine of thine utterance. Thou seest me, O my God, holding to thy name, the most holy, the most luminous, the most mighty, the most great, the most exalted, the most glorious, and clinging to the hem of the robe to which have clung all in this world and in the world to come. I beseech thee, O my God, by thy hair which moveth across thy face, even as thy most exalted pen moveth across the pages of thy tablets, shedding the musk of hidden meanings over the kingdom of thy creation, so to raise me up to serve thy cause, that I shall not fall back nor be hindered by the suggestions of them who have caviled at thy signs and turned away from thy face. Thou seest me, O my God, holding to thy name, the most holy, the most luminous, the most mighty, the most great, the most exalted, the most glorious, and clinging to the hem of the robe to which have clung all in this world and in the world to come. I beseech thee, O my God, by thy name, which thou hast made the King of names, by which all who are in heaven and all who are on earth have been raptured, to enable me to gaze on the day star of thy beauty and to supply me with the wine of thine utterance. Thou seest me, O my God, holding to thy name, the most holy, the most luminous, the most mighty, the most great, the most exalted, the most glorious, and clinging to the hem of the robe to which have clung all in this world and in the world to come. I beseech thee, O my God, by the tabernacle of thy majesty, upon the loftiest summits, and the canopy of thy revelation on the highest hills, to graciously aid me to do what thy will hath desired, and thy purpose hath manifested. Thou seest me, O my God, holding to thy name, the most holy, the most luminous, the most mighty, 
the most great, the most exalted, the most glorious, and clinging to the hem of the robe to which have clung all in this world and in the world to come. I beseech thee, O my God, by thy beauty that shineth forth above the horizon of eternity, a beauty before which, as soon as it revealeth itself, the kingdom of beauty boweth down in worship, magnifying it in ringing tones, to grant that I may die to all that I possess, and live to whatsoever belongeth unto thee. Thou seest me, O my God, holding to thy name, the most holy, the most luminous, the most mighty, the most great, the most exalted, the most glorious, and clinging to the hem of the robe to which have clung all in this world and in the world to come. I beseech thee, O my God, by the manifestation of thy name, the well-beloved, through whom the hearts of thy lovers were consumed, and the souls of all that dwell on earth have soared aloft, to aid me to remember thee amongst thy creatures, and to extol thee amidst thy people. Thou seest me, O my God, holding to thy name, the most holy the most luminous, the most mighty, the most great, the most exalted, the most glorious, and clinging to the hem of the robe to which have clung all in this world and in the world to come. <laughs> 